This is a Beguin, the tropical rhythm that's the background for my solo, The Magic Trumpet. Listen carefully as I play it for you. Follow the edited part. Watch the phrasing. Remember, each phrase is like a sentence, a complete thought. You'll see that I don't break these sentences by breathing in the middle. Now notice the rhythm. It's relaxed and yet at the same time steady. Listen to the style, the flavor of the piece. I try to make every phrase sing. Now follow your part and listen while I play the magic trumpet. magic trumpet together and look at some details. You notice the long phrases, no breathing in the middle to break the musical thought. The tempo remains steady and unchanging, and the relaxed rhythm, it's definite without being rigid. The Beguin has the feeling of being in two, or cut time, as I have indicated in the time signature. Listen to the introduction once again. I'll count it in two, the way it feels to me. Two, one, two. One, two, one, two, and so forth. Even though it has the feeling of two when it is played, you should count it in four to ensure rhythmic accuracy. Listen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The pattern for this piece is set in the first two measures. Smooth slurs contrasted with crisp, clean staccatos. The second note of each slur has a tenuto mark. Hold them out like this. I'll play slowly at first. Listen to the last few notes again. Now here's the way they should sound when you play them up to tempo. The sixteenth notes are double-tongued. Make sure that they're even, both in rhythm and in sound. Make them sound like single-tonguing. Always practice double-tonguing very slowly at first.
and with the metronome if possible. I'll set the metronome at 76. Without changing the quality of your playing, increase the speed one notch at a time until you've reached the required speed of this solo. Measure four goes down to the low C. Make it full and resonant by keeping a good column of air going through the instrument. It should sound like this. Notice I don't breathe before this low C. With practice, you'll be able to play the first eight measures in one breath. It's a good exercise in breath control, as well as musically correct to play them this way. The quarter note triplets in measure six are played against two even notes in the accompaniment. The metronome will beat two, and I will count three at the same time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. It works the same way when you play it. also added grace notes before the triplets. Wherever these grace notes appear, they should be played before the beat. I'll play these first eight bars complete for you now. From here to the key change, the style and techniques remain the same. However, I do want to point out the place where don't breathe is written over the high A after number two. Take a big breath where it is indicated, two bars before, and let this breath carry you through the next eight measures. If you stop to breathe after this high A, you'll be late with the following sixteenths. I'll play this section for you. At number three, we change key from G major to C major. The trumpet entrance at the third measure must be precise to fit in exactly with the accompaniment. Listen to this section from number three. marked flowing. Count this section in two rather than in four as we did at the beginning. This section must be very relaxed and sustained. Counting it in two will be a big help in keeping the passage from sounding stiff. Here are the first few measures. Notice the difference between this and the beginning of the piece. In the first section, we had a crisp articulation with much contrast between legato and staccato. Now we have smooth singing phrases, almost without accents. The climax of this section is the high B-flat. Sweep up to a real fortissimo, then drop to a pianissimo on the G, and let the passage end on a soft lyrical phrase. Listen. The da capo takes us back to the beginning and the coda continues in the style of the first section. I've given you a choice of two endings. The bottom one is slightly easier. I'll play it for you. The top ending has a group of five sixteenth notes in the third bar from the end. They must be played in one big sweep up to the high A, ending exactly on the third beat, and then on to the end the high B. Listen to the top line now. Remember, precision is the beauty of execution. Keep it in mind as you work on the magic trumpet. <laughs> 